NBC 26 and our parent company, EW Scripps, are working with a local school to help teach students about news literacy. A project to help the next generation of news consumers distinguish credible information from misinformation in today's media. Over the past couple of months, past couple of weeks, we've teamed up with the journalism class at Appleton East High School to produce a story that's important to them. They chose the topic of school safety, and after weeks of putting the story together, the students came here to our studio to share their story with you. With school shootings and our everyday conversations, school safety has been on many people's minds. To get to the heart of this issue, we talked about school safety and what's being done about it with people directly affected, the students. I actually fear every day that I wouldn't be able to come to school. I kind of feel unsafe sometimes. I got one student I believe is shot. On December 3rd, an Oshkosh West student stabbed a school resource officer and both were shot in the struggle. Being so close to home, this sparked many students' fears. Then once one happened here in Oshkosh, it started to make me like, think, oh, uh, there's probably something that could happen here. Despite these fears, some students feel safe at Appleton East. The thing that happened in Oshkosh West kind of was an eye-opener, but I think here at East and in Appleton, we have a really safe community. We have a lot of features and a lot of caring adults who are always there protecting us. East uses ALICE, an active shooter response protocol, and Sources of Strength, a mental health support system. They help students feel connected to their school's community. This is so much fun. We're entrusted with probably the greatest possession that someone has, and that's their children. Dr. Matt Mino is the principal at Appleton East. I think uh, safety starts with relationships. And so if we don't take the time to really acknowledge and figure out who our students are and where they're coming from, uh, that's the number one. But there is always room for improvement. I think that if we keep track of how like, much of a threat kids are, then teachers could be aware and monitor those certain kids. I think it could be really helpful in preventing bad situations. Based on a lockdown back in 2017 after a nearby robbery, some students now feel more prepared. We had an example, and um, if anything did happen again, I just can go back to that time and say, I was fine then, so I will be fine if it happens again. The district has taken steps this year with the addition of the Zen Den, a mental rest zone. And we hope to see more improvements in school safety programs in the future. Back to you. Thank you, Jack. For more information on this story and for a behind-the-scenes in-depth look at our news literacy project with the Appleton East High School students, go to NBC26.com.